Babe, your man is probably in my hands and I could have had him as a body literally last week if I wanted. <laughs> okay, now who made that? <laughs> who made that? I didn't make that. I just thought it was funny. It was it was quite hilarious in my opinion. Now, you know, I like the dark humor, so if you want more of that, follow your boy on Instagram. That video is currently going viral. It has been going viral on my page for a couple of weeks now. When you come on the internet with delusion and make false statements, people will clown you for it. And they may do it in the worst way possible. Like comparing you to, to monsters and creatures on the internet that may resemble you to some degree. And this individual was recently on the Whatever Podcast. Let's check it out. And then we have a comment here, but I, I wasn't able to pull it up. Um, Stifler asked, uh, ask everyone to rate themselves on a scale of one to 10. So let's do that. Ten. Um, Kiko, so, okay, we'll start with you. Go ahead. 10. A fat fucking 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying what everybody in the comments is going to say. They're like, oh yeah, she's a perfect girl. <laughs> like, Yo! Yo, he wrong for that. He is wrong for that. Oh, man. No, look, I've never seen the actual 10. What's this called? I'm going to call it the, 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 the double chin or the second neck. I ain't never seen an actual 10 double chin shake like that. What? A fat fucking 10. Uh, yeah, done. I'm convinced that I definitely was born a couple of decades too late because the delusion that these people living today have is beyond me. Let's hear more. Is there a comma somewhere in, in that statement? Honestly. Oh, he wrong. Oh, he dirty for that. Is there a comma? What you trying to say? This individual weighs 10,000 pounds or something? Dang, boy, you wrong. <laughs> what was said was said. Okay. Yeah. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Okay. Period. Yeah. Um, on a scale of one to ten. Eight. Ten. Answer were you with, the same. Were you a ten last time? Yeah, I was a ten okay. last time. Billy Ray. Um, I feel like I'm a six point seven. Why the would you ever say something like you? that? You hit this woman over here. She's offended by the fact that this woman who is more gorgeous than she is rating herself less than. So she must feel, oh, wait, if you're more attractive than me and you're rating yourself less than what I would rate myself, then that means I am less attractive than you. But obviously this woman over here, since she deems herself to be attractive, she will probably not associate on a friendship level with a woman like this that views herself as less than when it comes to the attractive scale. And also she has probably put herself mentally in the mindset that, oh, since you will view yourself as less, I'm going to view myself as more. I will stay in the 10 category and you can stay where you are. It's amazing to me that this woman will rate herself a 10, but if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in this podcast, she mentioned that she felt like she could have had some sort of augmentations done to her body, which means that you feel that there's an area of your body that may need some work, which would mean that you're not a perfect 10. Physically or overall? Oh, I'm factoring everything in. Give it Do you know time. where the rating skill comes from? It's supposed to be if you line up 10 random men and you ask mm -hmm. them, would you f and they were to say yes or no. Nope. That's originally where that's came from. That's not how, nope, that's what not how that works. Tell me. Well, now I'm being, the I'm, not educating me where it came from. That's you know, not how if you that know, works. tell me, tell me. Well, just think about tell it, me. think about it intuitively. If it's like a perfect woman, like absolutely maxed out attraction. 10 is supposed to be on physical, it's supposed to be on physical attraction so if we're only. Talking, we're not if supposed we're to talk about personality. Attraction, yeah, yes. if we're talking just physical attraction, 10 is like the most attractive woman you could possibly imagine. Yes, it's 10 out of 10 for a reason. Because you're lining up 10 and you're counting how many points are you getting. That's why. What, what do you mean you're lining up 10? We're like, lining up 10 women into this. No, I'm saying 10 men, like, or opposite gender of you. I mean, opposite gender of you. You're supposed to be, it's, the point is. Are you tracking with me? 
Guys where, where did it come from then? Tell me. Tell me where it came it's, from. It's, it's just, it's like, like, okay, what are you, like, if you're a five, then you're like very, like, average. Yes. If you're like an eight. Because five out like, of ten people would, would be with you. No, that's not, that's what, what, that's not, that's not what it is. No, it's, I'm just, not, I'm saying on a. people would be with you. It's, it's, it's not how many overall, people would be with you. It's like, like ten is physical perfection. Yes. I understand Wait, that. Okay. I'm not disagreeing with that. Not because <laughs> ten guys would sleep with you. Like you could have a girl who's like a seven, and ten guys would would all sleep with her. But that doesn't I mean did, that she's a ten. Yeah, I didn't of, factor in that, you, that, who would sleep with me in my grading. We're, ta yeah, yeah, no, we're talking not, about off of attractiveness. It's not about how many men would sleep with you. Okay, thank you. We're talking about attractiveness. Mm -hmm. Do you truly believe on a skill base that you're a six point nine? You said 6.7. 6.7, yeah. That honestly would make you a six in my eyes because that's it. And she can't even round up. If you're going to round, you got to round up. That, that should make her a seven. Not, uh, for one, this woman's logic. I don't know where she get her facts from, but they're not actual facts. You can line up a thousand people in a room and the scale rating would still be one through 10, not one through a thousand. Not this person is a one, that one is a seven. This one is a 200, that one is a 750, and then this one is a thousand. That's not how the attractive scale works. It's one through 10. The least attractive, somewhere in between moderate or very attractive. Your, your confidence level, your- I, 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 I just said confidence level, she's contradicting herself because she put so much emphasis on the fact that it's not about what's on the inside, it's literally about the physical attraction. You're doubting yourself. You just looks. You it's purely just based looks. on physical attraction. I know. You're saying uh, her humility Eric, brings her down? It's a fucking Hold joke. Hold on, guys. Now she's saying it's a joke. It wasn't no joke. You got caught. It was a joke. Uh, Ad block is... <laughs> I feel like it'd be the same if you said you're a person that people are always going to hate. So I think it's... as well just go okay, with wait, delusion so really believe. Kiko. <laughs> you heard that? She said it's the same as if you call yourself a perfect 10. People are going to hate on that, so you might as well be that delusional. She just said you might as well be delusional. I literally had this conversation with a young lady on social media today. I will play the clip of the video that we were talking about now. And underneath that underneath that video, I stated the fact that what in one man's eyes might be a 10 could be a 2 in another man's eyes. We all view people differently. And what we rate ourselves does not matter at all because when it comes to what we are attractive to, we ourselves have to give that individual the rating to determine the attractiveness that we view this person. If you do rate yourself, you got to go off the golden ratio and the beauty standards of what is deemed to be attractive. Yes, but is that saying that there's only one 10 in the world? There's not no, only no, one no, 10, there's no. multiple 10s in the world. That's not, that's and I'm, not what I'm up, saying. yeah, I'm, I'm saying yes, right, let's 10. You think you're like physical Billy, you're perfection. not a 6.7. All things Kiko, concerned. you're a 10 in delusion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad somebody said it. Anyway, y'all leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.